Earn.gg is a website where you can earn free money. If you go to the Earn tab, you will see different providers offering video advertisements, and you can pretty much leave this running all day while you're gaming, and you will receive points. These points can be redeemed for real money, including Bitcoins and PayPal, as well as CSGO gambling websites and even gift cards. Make sure you check out the site down below in the description and use my referral link. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. This is episode 11, and I just want to say thank you so much for the amazing support everyone has left on the last episode. I asked for 300 likes, which was honestly a reach for me to even see possible, and you guys decided to destroy that and surpass it in a matter of one day. That to me was a pivotal moment for me to know that this series truly does mean something to everyone, so I truly do appreciate it. I'm going to keep up the daily grind for this series because I know everyone enjoys it. But today, let's go ahead and see if we can continue to reach that 300 like goal if you guys really want to impress me we can try for 400 but 300 is more than enough so thank you again for all the support and all the positive feedback in the comment sections but i have some bad news guys so i was just recording episode 11 which you guys are watching currently right now and when i was done recording as you can see all this progress has been done and guess what? My mic was just non-functioning. So after I played back to hear my voice, I just heard static. And I was really, really upset because this was honestly a great episode. We did a lot of stuff. So I actually do need some food. I'll oh, rip here. Okay, let's go get some food from this farm that we can't even jump because we got no, no, no speed. Okay, let's just get some of this food. What the heck is this? What the heck? Alright, what? Okay, just everything seems like it wants to go against me right now today. Why is this happening? Alright, I don't know. I'm just gonna, just gonna keep going. Just get some food here. But, guys, today's episode won't be like every single other episode where we do a lot of progress. Because, let me tell you something. I actually take some time before I prepare an episode. Like, I really think it through. I want to make sure everything is done to the T so everything's perfect. Um, and I thought this episode out really well. Like, I wanted to work on the the uh the dog adoption center i wanted to build a pond so i had that all planned out in my head on what to start building but now that it just completely backfired on me it's really difficult for me to say all right let's start a new project it, it takes some time for me to even think it through so because of that i'm gonna show you guys what i did explain kind of the whole like shebang and what just happened and then i might just fill in some of these structures here and call it a day it might be a shorter episode but i do apologize about that hopefully you guys will support the fact that, you know, I'm always trying my best for this series. And I notice a lot of you guys keep saying that, so I do appreciate that. Also, we are using default texture pack. We changed from faithful because a lot of you were saying uh, mixed things. So keep faithful, and some of you are saying stick with default. So I personally enjoy default, so I think I'm going to stick with default. Um, and if, if things go the other way and you guys really, really want to see another texture pack, then I'd be more than happy to try and switch over to another texture pack. Um, but yeah, for now, we're just going to stick with default. I might make a custom default texture pack that I can release for everyone, but we'll see as time goes on. But let me show you guys what I did. So I kind of connected the path here. Um, we have a custom little pond. It's really not custom because this was already here, the water source. Um, so I just kind of re-terraformed around here a little bit. And then I added just some leaves, uh, some chairs, as you can see, some benches. And then I just pretty much continued to do the same path with adding some uh, fences around here, as you guys can see. And it really does kind of fill this area in perfectly and that's what I was going for because it just looks really well. I also did start doing some like the bottom of the pond, added a little bit more detail to it as well and I personally think this was like a really unique little build and I was really happy with it so it really did fill in everything around here. Now why can't I pick up? Oh because I have so much stuff. That kind of explains why. There we go. But yeah, I was really, really pleased with this. And actually, when I was making the fences, uh, I came up with a really unique idea for a desk. So as we walk in here, we have a desk. But it looks really cool from the back as well because you can stand here. And it, it just feels and functions like a desk personally. That's what I feel like it does. So I really was happy with this. And it turned out for the best. So truly, I was like, yes, this is a great idea. Good job, Alex. And, and then over here, I did some other things. Like we added the bones on the frames. We added a... Um, Pretty much some other details around here. Uh, we did put some bones inside the dispensers. That one doesn't have any. That one has some here. And then uh, pretty much I designed a few here. By the way, you guys are seeing we do have dogs as well. That's one major thing. Because in the episode, I actually went and got dogs. That's what I'm saying. Like This was such a big, beautiful episode. I was so proud of it. And then I found out that 
the mic was just not working. So uh, the journey was kind of cool getting the dogs as well because we kind of ventured around here and we found some cool areas that I might eventually build in. So it's a bummer that the recording just died on me, but whatever. Um, I guess I can continue to show you guys around. And yeah, so I added some more design to the dispensers here. Um, I figured I'd try to put some leaves here, but I didn't know if the dogs can actually go on here and pick up the the bones if it's like two blocks next to it some of them actually most of the dogs here just walk right by them and, and bones keep dropping so it's funny because if i let them walk around we come back and like all the bones are out of the dispenser guaranteed so uh that's something that i was really happy to see that you know it's coming along really well i also wanted to start a design to possibly do like fen like uh leaves going in front of the fences now i don't know if that looks good but i, I feel like it's kind of cool like, i don't know i just feel like it it feels a little bit different than just having fences and from in here it just looks really cool because it's like a closed in area for the dogs to kind of like i don't know just keep them safe from anything or it just looks better so that's something i like i might kind of close this in this area here is just completely messed up the chunk here is all just horrible so i even think i think someone said if i drop an item there i don't think i could pick it up oh no i can okay so okay that was just misunderstanding then but yeah so i was pretty pleased with this we kept designing around here throughout the episode i added some more details alongside here some fences with the wall it was a stone wall and then i did this beautiful overhang here this little entrance that really just added every extra detail this building needed to it and then for the windows i did the uh gates as well the gates really are something i'm really happy that someone mentioned during the live streams it just looks really great it completes everything and i figured this would be a perfect design for this building and then I just kind of tried to make a paw print here which kind of epically failed at kind of in a way but I don't know let me know what you guys think of this paw print I'm definitely probably gonna change it up uh, and make it different but someone did mention it in the comment sections and I figured I'd give it a shot in today's episode uh, but sadly I don't know it doesn't look as as much as I thought it would look really good but whatever it's it's fine for now and then uh, pretty much any other designs are pretty much basic here you know the dogs like to wander around now the issue is I tamed the the wolves or the dogs and if I let them like for example if I move them from sitting down they'll follow me everywhere so I have to kind of like have them sitting down um, or else they'll follow me so that's kind of like a, a bummer but whatever um, other than that that's pretty much what we did in today's episode um, and really it was a great episode but it's really sucks that it didn't work out in the end but I figured this would be a compromise to show you guys what I did and uh, we could probably start kind of filling in some of these um, these structures here now I don't really have a clear idea for what these structures are gonna hold or what they're gonna be so for now I'm just gonna fill them in but I'd really appreciate if all of you in the comment sections can kind of just let me know what these structures should hold like what what should they be what's their function because some of you mentioned to have an enchantment table house um, and that's something I might consider to move the enchantment table from all the way over there and it's turning night So let's go get some rest. So I figured that could be something I could definitely include But then again, I'm thinking like an armory as well someone mentioned making like an armory or for uh, stands There's monsters nearby. I never understand why it says that there's no monsters nearby. It's like Look, there's nothing. There's, I don't see anyone around here. Let's go place one here. There we go. It's just weird how that happens. But, um, yeah, so like I said, you know, I'm just trying to figure out uh, what these buildings should be uh, kind of fit for. But definitely I think an armory could be something we can look into doing in the next episode. Um, it really does suck because... The episode I had planned out was just perfect for today. You know, working on the the dog adoption center, taming the wolf, uh, the dogs, bringing them in, and just working around and just completing that whole build. It was a really awesome episode. But as I mentioned in the beginning, it's difficult for me to just say, "Oh well, let me just make a new episode and and start a new project." It can sound easy, but for me, it's more difficult because I mentally have to like kind of prepare of how I want to like structure the area how i want to design it and kind of just get that um idea flowing through my head and then i could just go ahead and start the episode because i have a basic understanding of what i want to do and it's not just random and me just kind of thinking uh and just like not knowing what to say and what to do so that's kind of something i usually always do before an episode i just try my best to to understand what's going on what i'm gonna do and that's why i think a lot of you guys are enjoying this series is because there's always a plan and there's always something i'm going to do in the episode um so hopefully you guys uh uh, notice that. 
But yeah, right now it's kind of an awkward moment because I'm doing the opposite of what I just mentioned. It's kind of a little bit random. I, I did say I was going to show you guys around, which I did, um, and start filling this in like we are right now. So uh, we're going to continue to do that. I think we filled in all the sides. Yeah, we did. Okay, cool. So let's continue to fill these in. So we have three new buildings. These are three new structures. Um, I am going to be putting plenty more structures. And I did actually say in last episode I wanted to work on a market. And that's what we're going to do. And this could honestly be a market as well, like these big tall um, homes and structures here can be turned into markets, which in a way they kind of are, but what I meant by market in the last episode was to have like actual villagers in the market. That would be something really, really cool, but difficult to do because I haven't seen too many villages next to me nearby. So I might have to go ahead and, and find some villagers or figure out what I have to do to get some villagers over here. But I think it's not a big deal. I think I could figure out that's for sure. So. Yeah, and actually someone did mention um, possibly doing something where I actually connect the homes uh, or these structures from like the middle of the build or from the top of the build, like making a small little bridge. And when they mentioned that, I thought of like Assassin's Creed for some reason, like kind of like a little bridge going over here, which would be really cool, a different, I haven't seen anyone do that before. And I think we can actually give that a shot maybe in today's episode, uh, because like I said, right now, I'm just, just trying to figure out what I should do, but it's really difficult for me to plan out an episode on the go like now. So uh, it takes me usually like a few, few minutes, hours, days sometimes to figure out what I want to do. So yeah, it was a bummer when everything went went south for me. But look how awesome this area looks. I'm just really, really proud of this little build here. Um, it's coming out to be really nice. But I'm really happy. This is actually looking cool. Now you guys can kind of get a vibe for this area when it's kind of filled in. So, um, And at least for me too, I can visualize it and see more of how it's going to look when it's complete. So I'm pretty happy with that. That's pretty good. Uh, do we have any more? Oh, we need, we need some more. I think we're getting low on uh resources here we don't have a lot i mean we do have a few more stacks but that's not enough i think to complete even a second level of this these buildings and structures we're just gonna do like the first few uh layers of these structures and then that's where we're gonna call it a day for working on these buildings because i usually like to plan them out and figure out what i want to build and if there's a theme that i know ahead of time that's what i'm gonna theme it so uh at the moment i don't really have a theme in mind that i want to do like for example like a, a bakery or a, a dog adoption center things like that that's what i mean by kind of a theme um but yeah you know it's not too bad i mean things happen like this hopefully it won't happen again i was really really upset like i mentioned because the episode was was gonna be so awesome i was so hyped for it but whatever i mean things happen sometimes and you just gotta live with it and and move on but i guess this gives me a moment to to put a plug in so make sure you guys go ahead and check out the description uh, I am, uh, you know, you know, really active on Twitter as well. So it'd be awesome if you guys could go ahead and show me some support on Twitter. The uh, link is down below in the description, including my Instagram, which I just recently made. So if you guys want to go up there, you guys can follow my Instagram and check out any posts I do. And by the way, also make sure to go ahead and check out the Den social media links. It's a server uh, that I own and Beast own that we are currently working on with our amazing staff team. We have a lot of cool custom mini games, um, and I'm not really going to say too much about what those custom mini games are but let me tell you it's it's very different you won't see them anywhere else so we're really hyped for it and i think you guys are really gonna enjoy it so what we can do because we kind of just like completely you know this episode wasn't a perfect episode but i want to plan out where we should do the market area and i figured i'd really like the market area to be right here so by market area i'm not gonna have big buildings like this but more like kind of i don't even know how to explain it something like uh, fences and slabs above it and just have a few of them around here and some smaller homes possibly but I think this would be a good uh, area to do that because it's just like like a little hill as well which I kind of want to work a bit more on the hills because we've been working currently on a little bit of some flatlands but this right here is probably the perfect area to do that so what we could do is we could start off our first basic design for our first little trading site area so let's go ahead and give that a shot now this is gonna be a little bit random for me because one I'm doing this on the spot I usually have a plan for it but right now we're doing it on the spot so we're gonna see how this works out for us so I want to do uh, walls let's do these type of walls for the base and then we're gonna have to kind of take some of these dirt out of the way kind of terraform a little bit just a little bit to make some more space here let's do this there we go kind of fix it up a bit 
Here we go, that's a bit better. And uh, this is just going to be the one of the many structures we're going to have around here. Um, there's going to be plenty of these around here, including some small homes as well. Like, by small homes, structures similar to those, but a lot smaller that are really just purely for design. I thought we could jump on these, actually. I thought that was a thing where eventually you could actually... I mean, you could jump on them, can't you? Like, eh, I guess you can from there, but whatever, not a big deal. So let's go ahead and place up all these fences. Now I need some slabs. Now I want to make the slabs similar to how we made the slabs um, on our dog adoption area center. So this actually should be one wider. Let's go put that over here. So let's go ahead and fix that up. Take this down, take these down as well. And then redo the fence post. I want to make it a little bit bigger because we're obviously going to want to put some chests in here. A little design. So what I'm doing now technically is going to be the template of how this area is going to look. So realistically, it's not really a bad episode because you guys see kind of like the future of how things are going to look around here. So you know what? I'm not too upset about that. Uh, so let's go use spruce slabs. Uh, we have plenty of them, so I'm not really too worried. So what I want to do is have an overhang. Now that's a little issue right there. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna take that down and we're gonna have to do this. Ooh, that's, yeah, this is, uh, I didn't really think this one through. This is like a little moment of a uh, small little issue, but what we might have to do, I guess, is just connect it. Oh, we can't even do that. We could do this though. So I guess we can do that. I guess that's fine. All right, so we're gonna take down these fence posts uh, there's no need for them, so we're just gonna go and work with the cobblestone wall, which I think is is actually quite good. So I'm I'm fine with that. Let's just do that. There we go, and let's work on this structure here. So it's going to be. I wonder if we could just place blocks going along here. Yeah, we can. Okay, perfect. And now we're gonna do the overhang like this. So I think it should be the other way. Actually, now that I think about it, yeah, it should be the other way. So we're gonna make the overhang going the opposite way around. So it should be like this. I wonder if that's too low, though. No, I think that's fine. I don't think that's a big issue. All right, so let's start blocking up here, making our little areas for building. So what I want to do now is it's going to go up like this. I think that's as high as I want it to go. I don't want it to go any higher. And that's probably just perfect. And this part here will actually probably be stone wall like that. I, you know what? I don't mind that. I don't know if it's good, though. Let's see. Maybe what we could do is take it back down, make it a little bit lower. How about we make it a little bit lower? Probably, actually, we could just do maybe keeping it this height. So if we keep it this height like that, I don't know if that looks too good. We could probably add, you know, what? we could just add one more simple layer. But going back here, let me see if that would look good. Um, Let's give it a shot. Let's see how that would look. So something over there instead of there. All right, we can we can give that a go. I think that's fine. But it does kind of look a little bit weird. So we might just go with our first plan initially, which which was to add the second level right here. So let's go ahead and do that. And then uh, over here, we're just going to make it flat. So we're just going to make them flat. There we go. Oh, we can't do that. So let's fix it up. We can't put the full block. So we're going to put some slabs. There we go. And that's pretty much it for this basic design. Let's see, will it work with the stone wall? It will not work with the stone wall. No, this is a rip moment right here. Um, all right, that that I guess we'll have to do. All right, so this is a little issue that I just kind of, we ran into. So we might have to fix that up, possibly. Uh, let's see, we had initially where it was like this and it touched right on top, something like that. You know what, that's actually good. Okay, let's figure out how we did that here. Oh, it's the same thing. Okay, that's actually good. I'm happy with that. All right, that I can work with. So we can take these back down, and we can now close in anything around here that needs to be closed in, like the roof. we got to finish it all up. Here we go. And you know what? I'm, I'm pleased with this. It looks decent. It doesn't look too bad, actually. Um, maybe it's too tall. Maybe it's too low here. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe these can be removed. Yeah, these can be removed for sure. So we'll take these down. And then inside here is just really going to be chests and basic stuff like that. And we might have to try to add villagers, which would be kind of cool. Let me go ahead and get some rest because it is turning night. I don't like to work in night. Let's go for our sleeping bag. There we go. And uh, you know what? This episode turned out to be kind of decent. You know, obviously it wasn't like how it was planned out for this amazing project. But you guys will get to see a little bit of what's being progressed here. So I'm, I'm not too too upset about it. So I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. Let's see, what else should we do? Uh, we might leave it like this for now and eventually fix it up a bit more. Uh, let's see, can we add maybe this around here? 
Maybe that would look kind of cool just to close it in, kind of square it off a bit. I think that's actually kind of perfect. And then we have some chests on us that we can do here. So let's go with a simple design. We'll probably put like a chest there, um, a chest here. Actually, instead, we could probably put the chests on top of each other like this, kind of make a little design here. Uh, let's remove this bottom chest. Let's put, uh, let's see what we could use. We could use some jungle wood. Place the jungle wood right there. Chest there and chest there. That looks kind of cool. And it's really just, like I said, an area kind of just to go in, trade, maybe store, have a villager here. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's see if we can put some fences as well alongside that. Oh, that's sick. Okay. Oh, that's really cool. I'm pretty happy with that. So that can go here. Those can connect. These can connect here. Oh, this is great. This actually turned out to be perfect. It's perfect. It's like a perfect size for what I was going for. And it really looks different. Like I haven't done something like this where it looks this cool. Now this part here, we could probably add a slab. Might look weird though. So we might just leave it like this. Wait, we could do that. I don't know, does that look weird? Maybe it's too much. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe we should just go with just having it like that. I don't know. That probably is fine too. But wow, this actually turned out to be a pretty unique little project to do so quickly. So we could actually add some frames. Maybe could we put frames around here too? Let's see where we could add some more detail here. We could probably put like frames like this. And then we could put any little like merch stuff that, or not merch, but like, for example, oh, merch. Why did I say merch? I actually am working on a merch store for those who do not know, but little details like this. Enough about that, but like we can actually add what will be in this little area. So technically what you guys see here will be replicated all around here with some little homes in between and kind of some like pathways going into it like this, for example. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll have some more that are going to be like around here that are going to have different paths kind of leading to it randomly like this. So I think this is really cool. Really happy so far how this is working out. What we could do, which we do not have on me anymore, is to use some leaves and make some more designs around here. But that's okay for now. I think that covers up today's episode. Oh, I forgot. We have some trap doors. What could we do with trap doors here? Maybe that? I don't know. Let's just quickly figure this one out because I always like to work with some extra details sometimes. Uh, can we put a trap door there? Oh, yeah. There we go. That's what I was going for because it blocks off this really awkward gap right there. And that right there will finesse this place perfectly. Uh, not that though, not that, not that did not work out. Maybe like put one right there, is that possible? That's perfect, yeah, that's actually nice, okay. All right, this place is really taking shape. I'm really happy with this design. It looks cool, it functions properly, and it really goes well with the theme. So personally, I'm actually quite pleased with today's episode. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, definitely go ahead and check out the description. I have plenty of links. You guys can go and follow me on other social media and show me support there. I'm really active on Twitter and trying to be more active on Twitter as well. So if you have a Twitter account, go ahead and follow me. And I'm also starting to use Instagram for Alex and as well. You guys can see some cool stuff on there possibly. But other than that, guys, thanks for all your support. Hopefully you guys forgive me on today's episode not being what you guys usually expect and having that slight issue with the mic for this project here. But I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for another episode. Uh, peace out. My name is Alexon and stay foxy.